Well, good morning, Director Coffey. All right, so we're delayed for usual reasons and technical difficulties, but this is the uh, special closed session of the Board of Directors of the Park District on May 2, beginning 13 minutes late. Uh, would you please call the roll, Yolanda? Yes, President Coffey. Um, we have Director Waspy. Here. Director Lane. Here. Director Wieskamp. Here. Director Corbett. Here. Director Eccles. Here. Director Rosario. Here. President Coffey. Present. General Manager Landreth. Here. Deputy General Manager Alvarez. Present. General Counsel Abergo. Here. And Mr. Daniel Keene. Here. Hey. So this is, uh, this is the uh, hybrid meeting by which board members and staff are attending through a uh, combination of in-person and remote attendance. The purpose of conducting the meeting as described in this notice is to provide the safest environment for staff and the public while allowing for public participation pursuant to the Brown Act as amended by AB 361. The board uh, and staff may participate uh, in the board meetings via phone or video conferencing and through the hybrid of in-person and remote attendance. Again, board, staff, and public. So uh, I want to welcome all to the uh, special meeting this morning. Before we go into closed session, we do have one uh, request for public comment. I believe that's Kelly. I don't think there are others, Madam Clerk. No, President Coffey. All right, so let's invite Kelly to go oh. ahead with his uh, public comment. Good morning. Yes, Kelly, you have three minutes, sir. Okay, um, I believe that uh, the, the agenda and uh, it misunderstands, misrepresents the meaning of a hybrid meeting. A hybrid meeting is not uh, remote uh, and, and, uh, and in person for the benefit of staff and board members. It, that also extends to the members of the public. If members of the public are not uh, allowed to do hybrid, it's not a hybrid meeting, okay? It's whatever kind of meeting you wanted to call it but it's not hybrid. Um, the actions of any government agency reflect its leadership. A year or two ago, Ohlone College hired a new superintendent and president who ushered in a new era of student-centered education. Dr. Eric Bishop has listened to uh, concerns and fixed problems. Um, I called in to comment a year later when their board of trustees held their first annual performance review I urged the, the trustees to give their full support to the new leader as he moves their district forward. I wish I could say the same today. For the last seven, several years, uh, the staff and political leaders of this district have turned a deaf ear to pleas for toilets and parking at Mission Peak. The strict radio silence by your staff in response to toilet inquiries embodies their imperially aloof mindset. Our elected officials and management remain detached from the political concerns and physiological needs of ordinary citizens in Fremont. Um, this district should serve all residents and stand firm against the unjust, biased, and discriminatory actions of the city council of Fremont, the city manager, and the police chief. This uh, general manager and the board of directors of this district uh, need to learn from the new regime at Ohlone College. I urge your board and your new general manager to turn a new page towards responsiveness, accountability, and sanitation. Thank you. Thank you. That is the last uh, public commenter. All right, thank you, Kelly. And with that, we will all uh, leave this particular link and the board and staff will uh, reconvene the meeting using our uh, previously provided link. So I'll say bye.